Forget fad diets and trendy hashtags. What you should be digesting is information. Data-driven fueling is about precision nutrition. Your body has a voice. It speaks to you all the time. Candace Rosen, a registered nurse and author of Forget Dieting, It's All About Data-Driven Fueling, says your blood sugar can help tell you whether you're giving your body the right fuel. Are you feeling famished? You're really starving. Uh, Do you feel jittery? Do you feel faint? Or do you feel okay? She serves up five healthy fueling tips. For starters, make Wednesdays and Fridays vegan days. It's very hard on your kidneys when you're eating a ton of animal protein. You're giving so many organs in your body a break by focusing on a plant-based meal for those two days. Eat leafy greens, sprouted grain breads, plant-based meat substitutes, and avoid dairy because... It can actually deplete your bones of calcium. Next, limit your fruit pairing. Fruit is never eaten with anything else, with only two exceptions. You can put fruit in a smoothie with a plant-based protein powder, or you can have fruit with nuts, seeds, a nut butter, or seed butter. Apples, bananas, oranges, and berries are always good, but avoid sugary fruit juices and sweet fruits like pineapples and mangoes when you're trying to lose weight. I will have sliced apples, with some almond butter, or I'll take a banana and slice it lengthwise and drizzle it with tahini because that component and example in the almond butter that offsets the sugar in the apple. So I won't have a a spike and I'm okay. At number three, don't eat anything white. No white bread, no white pasta, no white rice. It has a higher glycemic index. These foods will raise your blood sugar and create an inflammatory response. It's not like I'm saying you can never have rice, but try brown rice. And if you're having meat, don't combine it with a starch. The only thing that you can bring onto the plate would be a vegetable, a non-starchy vegetable, like uh, zucchini, broccoli, whatever, and a salad. If you're craving carbs, yam it up. Sweet potatoes have fiber and also vitamin A, and it is so satisfying and it's healthy. Finally, if you're craving animal protein, feast on fish. We always want to focus on wild caught fish. The nutritional content is higher and it'll contain less fat. Just as I said before, you're not going to combine it with rice. You're not going to combine it with a potato. You're going to combine it with a vegetable, a non-starchy vegetable, and a salad. Digesting data for a diet that works is at the top of the list.